Hello, hello. Hey, you guys. Hope you can see and hear me today. We've got our computer back. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so we're a little off kilter here. Where are we at? You see my sign? I gotta see my sign. There we go. Cool. If you can hear me, that is fantastic. If you can hear me, let me know that you can hear me. Give me a thumbs up or a hi. Let me know where you're at. Um, what I would really like is a shout out to your spouse, um, a friend, whoever is out there on the road that uh, is making this world work, right? This economy work. So shout out to all of our drivers, our professional drivers out there on the road. Maybe you're at home. Maybe you're lucky enough to be at home right now. Um, maybe you're at one of the terminals and um, enjoying a hot, warm, I guess, very good meal. Then make sure that you uh, say hi. Um, please put your name in the comments. I want to make sure that we recognize each and every one of you as, as uh, quickly as we can so that um, you can go on with everything else that you're doing. But you guys, thank you so much for everything that you do. If you haven't already thanked a driver, make sure you do so because you wouldn't have anything that you, you've got now if it wasn't for them. Morning, Amy. Morning, afternoon. That's right. Morning to some, afternoon to others. Morning to me still. <laughs> All right, cool. So, Amy. Feel free to uh, ask any of your questions, see what you got going. Amy's got some good ones coming on. Um, they're more like um, uh, brain busters. Well, they they bust my brain. <laughs> more than Anna. Yes, keep those wheels going safely. Absolutely. This is 2019 Driver Appreciation Week. And we've got oodles. Oodles is a big number, by the way. Oodles of gifts that we've uh, actually we have drawn this morning. Uh, we had a drawing on Friday, too, that I'll be announcing the winners if you missed our Facebook Live. Hey, you guys, on Facebook or every Monday at 4 p.m., you can catch us live. And uh, you, you know, a little updates, a little Q&A there, updates on what's going on here at Decker. But we do announce, as of right now, our survey winners for uh, the Stay Metrics. So if you're not familiar with what Stay Metrics is, basically it's a... Um, it's a way for us to get intel from you as one of our professional drivers to find out where we're lacking in areas and where we can improve, maybe some suggestions on how we can improve because it's always, sometimes it's easier to find the fault but not ne necessarily a solution. So we're looking for uh, ways to be better for you. And uh, one of those ways is through this Stay Metrics. Uh, it is a, a way to communicate with you and, and find out. Uh, those areas. So that being said, the STEM metrics is a, a number of surveys that you'll receive. And they're real quick. They can be, I mean, they, they might be up to 15 minutes long, but they're really pretty brief. And it's about, and they're all multiple choice for the most part. And then at the very bottom of it, you have the opportunity for additional comments. And that's where you can be heard. Um, we do have the suggestion boxes at all of our terminals, but the comments is very handy to like I said, just to be heard and um, to make sure that it can go yet another level beyond uh, the individual that you spoke to. So these are to all of our management and and they can improve, improve from there. The orientation part of the surveys, you'll get um, you'll get a survey call from, well, you can get emails, a survey call, you can fill it out on your tablet, you can fill it on your phone, you can fill it out on the computer, um, you can even do it by text. So those are all being done um, right after orientation so that we can evaluate the orientation. It's fresh in your mind because we could I mean maybe uh, with our orientation, we could possibly improve the, um, the timing of it, the scheduling of it. We could, um, maybe it's the information that you received or didn't receive that we need to address um, more training, less training, you know, maybe it's overboard uh, and same with support, you know, where you need additional support and where we can, uh, remove it. So if there's uh, anything that you need for suggestions, then that is your opportunity. But you've got the orientation, you get a 14 day survey, and then you'll have a 90 day survey. So we can kind of gauge as things go on because, you know, a lot of times you come aboard um, with a company and you're getting, you know, you're getting that royalty right off the bat, but then it starts to dwindle and then you lose contact with, you know, who's checking in on you and, and who's going to make things happen for you. Um, we don't want that to happen. We want to make sure that you've got constant support when you need it. And this is one way to do it. Now, we just finished some of our annual surveys. This is our first year that we've completed. And um, 
the first year of the state metrics as a whole. So we, we did it, completed the full year. So that being said, we do have some winners to announce. Hey, Mudflap, good to see ya. We do have some winners to announce that um, were drawn from those who already completed the survey. Now, as of right now, well, as of yesterday, um, 186 of our professional drivers have already completed the surveys. So that's about 23%, which isn't too shabby, but we'd love to see those numbers increase. And of those, we have chosen three for this week who will be rewarded for um, getting the surveys completed. Now those are confidential surveys. So they, they are confidential. The information is still provided to us, but we don't know who's providing the information, which individual. So, um, but so that's your chance to feel free and, and not have to worry about, um, I mean, you, some people would be concerned to speak their mind if they feel that there's a repercussion. Uh, there isn't. This is your chance to, to speak your mind and, and to really give us the details that we need. Good, bad, whatever we got. So about 23% of the fleet is already um, completed. We'd like to see even more. Uh, thanks, Amy. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, so completing the surveys. Um, what did I wanted to say? I wanted to say the winners. We have three prizes and we will have these, actually we've got 27 total for the drawings. So we will continue to do a drawing from, well, we do it every Friday and then they'll be announced every Monday. So um, you'll be getting a drawing every day through, I think the 4th of November, I think is the last one, October 31st, 4th, somewhere around there, um, will be the last announcement. So you'll be getting those um, those updates. It's our way to be, you know, progressive here. So let's see who the winners are. This is our, uh, our drum roll, there we go. <laughs> I need a drum roll. We've got three winners for this day of metrics survey. So these are the survey drawings. Um, for this week, but we also have more winners on our driver appreciation week, which is what we're here to celebrate. So stay tuned for more of those too. But our three winners for the Stay of Metrics, um, they're $50 gift cards. The first one is a Visa gift card that goes to Kyle Dixon. So congratulations, Kyle, on the $50 Visa gift card. $50 gift card to our Decker store. If you guys haven't checked that out, you can actually link to that or find the link to that on our Decker homepage, drivedecker.com or um, Decker Trucking Companies. Decker Companies, you can actually access it there. But our $50 gift card to the Decker store goes to Joshua Vega. Congratulations, Joshua. Hey, Patrick, good to see you. You are, why? <laughs> are you skipping out, Patrick? <laughs> Hopefully you got a free a free meal, good, good warm meal. And our third prize for the week, Walmart, $50 Walmart gift card goes to Felix Perez Santiago. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you so much for everything that you do. And we do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to, to fill those surveys out. I know it's 15 minutes, but it's 15 minutes out of your time, um, your downtime. And I don't definitely don't want you to, um, we're, we don't overlook it. We just really appreciate it. We want to make sure that you, you know that. The text that you're going to be getting um, for the survey, if you're if you get a text or if you get a call from them, it's coming from a five seven four number. So if you see that, answer it. Don't uh, don't ignore it because I know if you're like me, if it's a number that you don't see and it's on your cell phone, you're not quite sure if it's a number you don't know and you see it, um, you hesitate to to ask. You're like, ah, oh, it's a telemarketer. I don't want it. <laughs> right? We all do that. Yes. So Kyle Dixon, Joshua Vega, and Felix Perez Santiago. Congratulations, you guys agree. Yes, yes, yes. So get that in. And for those of you who haven't done the survey, please do so. Yes, indeed. All right, I need to tell you about all the food. Jessica went live on our Facebook a few moments ago. If you missed out on that, you can still watch it. There's a replay on our Facebook channel. Um, so you can kind of see what we've got going on there. I think it's brisket, I think is what I saw. And it's being sponsored by Crossroads today in Fort Dodge. And then Missoula, they are feeding everybody there. Uh, Davenport, Hammond, uh, Minneapolis, you guys are getting fed in all of those locations. So make sure that you stop by if you're able to. If you're able to stop by in one of those locations, make sure to grab your driver appreciation gift because they're pretty sweet. We had a couple of people request them. Um, actually, what we did is for the driver appreciation gifts this year, 
instead of coming up with them on our own um, a way because sometimes you know what we think you need isn't necessarily what you need or want so this time we went out we asked what you guys wanted uh, backpacks bags things like that that's what we were told and and that's what we came up with. So they're pretty sweet, pretty nice. And actually you can get a, a snapshot or a, a quick view of what they look like on our Facebook page. So facebook.com backslash DTL Inc. And then you can take a look at that. And if you haven't already got your own, if you haven't got your own, make sure you stop by one of the terminals to get your hands on it. So Patrick says, taking a shortcut through Gunnison, Colorado today. So beautiful. It's what I do, what I do. <laughs> it's why you do what you do. I love to hear that. Good work. Good, good. Yes, make sure that you stop by the terminal so you can get that. Uh, now, okay, one more time. The the outlying terminals for today that are serving are Davenport, Hammond, Minneapolis, and Missoula. And then, of course, Fort Dodge. And it's they serve till 1 o'clock, so 1 p.m. What time is it now? Oh, yeah, it's noon. <laughs> noon. Noon Central Time. Quarter after. There you go. You got a little bit of time. So make sure you get something to eat. They serve from 11.30 to 1 o'clock. Um, and then there's going to be breakfast at all the locations. Again, you've probably already taken advantage of it, or hopefully you have in one of the locations. Um, even, you know, Lamar's will be serving snacks and, and breakfast and goodies like that all day long. All day long, pretty much all day long. Um, but also, you know, for breakfast. And then all of the terminals will also have uh, breakfast goodies fruit, you know, so not just the donuts and the bagels, but the fruit and stuff too. So you can take advantage of that. Tomorrow, Davenport, Hammond, and Minneapolis, and Fort Dodge, they'll all be serving lunch. Again, 1130 till 1 p.m. Um, Hammond and Missoula will be on Thursday, and then Friday will be Bessemer and Davenport. And of course, Fort Dodge in all of those cases. Now the breakfast and everything is outside the safety lanes. They'll be provided Monday through, well, yesterday through Friday. Um, today, uh, breakfast is actually sponsored by Eastern Iowa Tire. Tire, yeah, Eastern Iowa Tire. Here we go. Um, but today, lunch is being provided by Crossroads. Um, yesterday was MHC, which brings me to some of the drawings. I got to get my cheat sheet out here on who won the drawings because it was live on our Facebook earlier this morning. Um, it was Tammy, it was Michael and Brad who drew the names for all of the awards. There are a lot. So let's see. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten. Ten. Ten, ten, ten. Okay. Do you guys want to know all of them? Oh, don't forget that you'll be entered into uh, the driver appreciation, the door prizes. You'll automatically be entered in each day. So no worries about that. Don't worry if you missed it. But don't forget your driver appreciation gift because that you need to pick up. Um, so the driver appreciation door prizes prizes for <laughs> for um, well by Epic View. Epic View provided twenty five dollar Amazon gift cards. Three of those they go to Thomas Melton, Brian Robin, and Albert Smith Jr. So twenty five dollar Amazon gift cards for those three. And we've got MHC, like I mentioned, MHC, they provided lunch yesterday. They also provided some great door prizes, uh, three zip up jackets. They provided Yeti mugs and a beautiful Yeti roadie cooler that if you're not careful, I think uh, Tammy had every intention to hang on to that. <laughs> if you don't show, show up to pick that up. I'll tell you who got that here in just a second. Okay, so MHC, the three zip-up jackets. We have Lydia Dietrich out of the Missoula Terminal. Lydia, if you're here, uh, make sure that you get your, or actually what will probably happen, Tammy and Jessica will get a hold of you and we'll get that lined up so that you can get your hands on your MHC jacket. Scott Knapp and Kevin Hagen. You guys, all three of you got the, the three zip-up jackets, so awesome. So Scott Knapp, Kevin, and Lydia. Awesome, awesome. The Yeti mugs, we've got Dean Sosek and Marvin Duncan. You two received the Yeti mugs. Oh, I have a Yeti mug going on right now. No, yours is much bigger and it has a lid on it so you don't spill. I will probably spill. Anthony Vasquez. Anthony, you won the Yeti roadie cooler. That's the one that uh, odds are everybody's going to want to steal from you as you're walking by. Those things are sweet. So there you go. And we have another big gift. 
a hundred dollar pilot gift card goes to Justin Danner. Hundred dollar pilot gift card. So we'll be sending those out to you. We'll, you know, we'll find out where you want us to send it and get that sent out. But yes, now that was just today's drawing. You'll be getting door prizes every day. We'll be going live on our Facebook channel. So make sure that you're following us on our Facebook channel, as well as obviously subscribing to our YouTube so that you don't miss out on that as well. But uh, take advantage of it to see what we can do and, and uh, hopefully you get some great prizes out of it. Those are some awesome prizes, I think. They're pretty, pretty spectacular. All right, let's talk about some of the positions that we've got. Oh, before I forget, did you guys check out our videos? Best were put in a video yesterday and that basically they brought in a challenge to the rest of the terminal. So, um, Besmer created a video. Let's see, the song is September. Anyways, watch the music videos, super cute. And they had obviously had way too much fun doing it. And uh, Missoula did theirs. You'll see theirs on today's. So if you don't already see it on our Facebook channel, check out our Facebook, our Instagram, Twitter, uh, we've YouTube. We've got it posted all over the place so you guys can, can enjoy it. So happy Driver Appreciation Week. Honestly, this is. Um, this is just our chance to show our appreciation, you know, and obviously we need to be doing it all year round. Thank a driver, you know, but, uh, this is a, a good excuse to celebrate it even more and kind of go overboard with all kinds of prices and stuff. Michael, you betcha we are hiring. That's what we'll talk about. Let's talk about some of the different positions that we do have available. Um, Michael, why don't you go ahead and put in your, or put in the comments where you live and I can answer for you what we've got available in your area. Um, so you know what we're hiring for. We do have a couple of positions available out of the Midwest van division. Oh, you live in Chicago? Awesome. Chicago, I've got all kinds of options. I've got uh, our over the road or our Midwest van position, which can actually get you home weekly in the Chicago area. Uh, it runs a lot of the Midwest and then it does run some of the Southeast, but you're looking at a lot of I-80 from Omaha, from Lincoln, Nebraska, honestly, to uh, Gary, Indiana. So along I-80 there is pretty common. Um, obviously, it's going to be more than that, but that's going to be a lot of the originating, where the loads originate. Uh, Athens, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, um, Hartwell. We've got uh, Anderson, South Carolina. Those are all areas that we hire for that Midwest van position. We do have a couple different ones available. So if you're interested in that, it's 888-668-0698. But we've got more than that, too. So stay tuned here, Michael. We've got additional information on our we've got our Midwest flatbed. It's actually guaranteed pay out of the Chicago area. We also have our Midwest refrigerated, which is also guaranteed pay out of the Chicago area. So if you're looking for the Midwest refrigerated, it pays twelve fifty a week. Now, you can make more than that. And if you well, what will happen is you'll get on to Zach's board. He'll take good care of you and make sure that you're getting even more miles exceeding that $12.50 a week, so you bring home even more. Um, the $12.50 you, is the guaranteed pay, but you must have uh, a be available for dispatch. These are the requirements. Be available for dispatch, no driver service failures, have 100% on-time delivery, and make sure you get your paperwork in. Now, your paperwork, you can either use your cell phone and the TransFlow app, or you can go on and use the onboard scanner that's in the truck as well, so you've got access to all of those. A four months experience. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the four months experience. Um, oh, we also have flatbed. So honestly, with your four months experience, we can help you in our Midwest flatbed division, our Midwest refrigerated and our Midwest van division. Now with the, with the flatbed, um, since we do obviously require a little bit more experience in the flatbed, it's three months by the way, so three months experience. With your four months, we can still help whether or not it's flatbed or refrigerated or van experience that you have will train you with the securement and tarping training in orientation in Fort Dodge. Orientation is in Fort Dodge for, um, actually Michael, for you, if you're gonna be coming from the Chicago area for both, or for, for the van, the refrigerated and for the flatbed. So it would all, all it be in the Fort Dodge terminal. Um, but yeah, with four months of experience, basically what you're looking at is coming aboard at 47 cents a mile for the flatbed division. Now, with the guaranteed pay, it's $13.50 a week. So once you've completed your training, if you need to go with a trainer, you'd be going with a trainer anywhere from one to five weeks. And that just depends on, on how well you're picking everything up and, 
and um, if the trainer is going to be required. It's $500 a week that we put you with a trainer or while you're with a trainer. And then once you're done with that, then it's 47 cents a mile as a company flatbed driver. Uh, the 1350 a week, you will qualify again, same thing, no driver service failures, be on time, be 100% um, on time deliveries, um, get your paperwork in and be available for dispatch. Those are the qualifications for that guaranteed pay. But you can make more than that 1350 on the weekly basis. And that's where that 47 will, will basically kick in. If the number of miles you ran ex and the number and the pay per mile exceed that of the 1350, you'll get the better of the two. However, you could also get the 47 cents a mile if you fail to, to do the, um, the guaranteed requirements. But um, either way, we're going to do the better of the two for you in that case. Now with the, uh, what, are, what was I going to say? With the pay per mile, you do get a penny raise. That's my phone, sorry. <laughs> you do get a penny raise after 90 days in the refrigerated and the flatbed. You'll get a penny raise every year on your anniversary as well. Um, and then the sign-on bonus pays out on your one-year anniversary. It's $2,500. For flatbed, you need to run a minimum of 100,000 miles to get that. Again, pays all out one lump sum. And then it's twenty. the $2,500 is paid out in um, one lump sum for refrigerated and van after you run 110,000 miles within your first year. So those are going to be the requirements. I uh, did not turn the volume off on this, so at least it wasn't. I wasn't using this one that time. Okay, so that's what we need right now. Um, if you have more questions on that, Michael, just let me know. But it'd be 47 to start and then working your way up. Um, penny raise after 90 days and every year on your anniversary. Uh, max right now, or the cap, is at 54. Now with the refrigerated, you would actually be starting off at 43, I believe, 43 cents a mile. Get a penny raise after 90 days and then again every year on your anniversary. So 10 cents of that is per diem in all, in all of the pay per mile cases. So 10 cents per diem, um, which means you're not taxed on it. All right, so guaranteed on your home time, guaranteed home weekly. And uh, with the refrigerated, the van and, well, excuse me. Yeah, refrigerated van and flatbed with the guaranteed pay. Uh, now, some of the other areas, obviously, you're, where you're located, where you live, will uh, determine what your home time is. So if you have any questions at all on what we have available and where where it's at, um, what the home time is going to be like, that's when you're going to want to call in and talk to uh, one of our recruiters. So get a hold of them at 888-668-0698. Okay, so Michael, interested in refrigerated, then you're looking at a you're looking at the 43 cents a mile to start with. Again, 10 cents of that's per diem. The $2,500 that pays out on your one-year anniversary, you need to run a minimum of 110,000 miles for. Um, and what else am I missing for that? Now, there is uh, there is additional bonuses. A monthly bonus can get you an extra four cents a mile. Um, you know, you have up to four cents a mile, so you can actually make uh, one, two, three, or four in, in order to, to see that monthly bonus. It's going to be based off of our scorecard, which consists of your on-time deliveries, your driver service failures, um, accidents, CSA points, uh, anything that was accumulated during that month, uh, the number of miles that you ran, your idle time, fuel efficiency, those are things that are all calculated in to determine what your scorecard bonus is. A perfect scorecard is a thousand points and that gets you the four cents a mile. And yes, we definitely have guys that are getting that thousand points. Uh, they're doing a fantastic job for us and we'd like to see like to see more of those. Um, but we've got a lot of guys that are running between the 900, 925, 950 uh, to 1,000 as well. And again, the point system is really based off of, um, of all of that criteria that I mentioned before, the CSA points, the accidents. Um, and if you, know, if you had a DOT recordable accident, well, obviously, if you had a DOT recordable, it's more severe. But if you had an incident uh, slash accident, or uh, a ticket or something like that. And really those that point those points alone are going to um, they're going to disqualify you from getting the bonus for that month. So uh, everything else is kind of on a on a a level, you know, like your mileage, your your idle time, fuel efficiency like that. So those are gauged whereas CSA points or or an accident that just kind of wipe it out for the month. But one month is not going to have any effect on the following month. So that's why you want to, um, you know, bounce back. 
bounce back if you if you had a bad month. No worries. Let's let's pick it up from there. Um, our trucks are really well equipped too, Michael. I don't know how much you know about our our equipment and what we've got, but they're newer model. So average age is about 18 months. You could see something as old as three years. We've got 579 Peterbilts. Those are probably our most common. 579 Peets. We have some 730 Volvos, 740, 760 Volvos. And then we also have some Freightliner Cascadia Evolutions. So with the refrigerated, you're probably looking at either a 730 or 760 Volvo or a 579 Peterbilt uh, for most likely um, coming out or coming into that. Now, they're all automatics. Hey, Jackie, good to see you. They are all automatics and um, they're pretty well equipped. Lots of safety features. So we do have the lane departure device. We have the smart drive system, which has a lot of gauges, one of them being the inward and outward facing event recorders to determine um, which those kick on after um, a critical event or when a critical event kicks them on. And they can be deactivated after 120 days of safe driving. So we've got those, um, but lots of safety features in them. We do have the onboard scanners that I mentioned to get your paperwork in if you don't use your Transflow app on your phone. We have um, in, the, in the bunk itself, um, we've got the APUs, we have inverters, we have refrigerators, bunk heaters, um, they, we will have, we're, this is the, the, in the process, uh, verbiage here. We've got, uh, Epic View TVs that we're putting in all of our trucks. So all of them will be equipped. Last I checked, we were just a little over a hundred and those trucks are, um, or, or that Epic View is a hundred plus premium channels. It's company paid. Uh, the TV will be provided and the microwave will be provided. But the Epic View is going to include things like Showmax, Showmax, <laughs> that's a new channel you guys, if you missed out, um, Showtime, Cinemax, um, uh, Sunday Ticket, and HBO. So, I mean, just a lot of premium channels to that, but yes, microwaves will be in there. We also have CV units, navigation, company paid. We have Sirius Radio, where all the equipment's there. You will need a subscription, unless you refer to or more drivers within the year, and then we pay the subscription for you. Um, Michael says, I need a few weeks refresher because I've been driving a garbage truck the last three years. Okay, so your circumstance is a little bit different, Michael. Usually when um, the garbage truck, is it, uh, you know, is it a straight truck then or is it a garbage truck, tractor, trailer, garbage truck? Uh, I know there's both out there, but I'm assuming it is more of a straight truck. Um, but in that case, yes, you'll, you'll need to go out with a trainer, most definitely. Um, you will need to do a refresher course. We work with... 160 uh, Driving Academy. We work with Roadmaster Refresher Course and TDI and ICC, they're uh, Iowa Community College, a Fort Dodge. Then, okay, so yeah, so you'll you'll need that refresher course. Now for schooling, we usually require a minimum of 160 hours. Um, since it's been three years and you still have been driving, um, you probably, this would be, this is a case by case basis and we would want to look at everything um, as this goes, but uh, we'll need to Jackie says he'll be your trainer. <laughs> there you go. Sign him up. <laughs> yeah, since you've been driving, that's obviously a, a, a good mark for you, and, and we can see what we can do about uh, about helping you out. But it's going to be a case-by-case -case basis, so you want to talk to a recruiter to see if there's any additional steps that we can take to get you moving. And normally, we want that experience to be recent, so with four months, we want it to be within the last year. Um, again, you've been driving, so it's a little bit different, um, but uh, for experience, for minimum experience, if you're not a recent graduate of an approved school, which again, 160 plus hours and, and uh, PTVI certified, those are going to be our approved schools. And um, or um, one month of recent over the road tractor trailer experience. That's what would qualify you to get into our refrigerated and flatbed, or excuse me, refrigerated and van divisions uh, for experience. Um, but yeah, the get a hold of one of the recruiters if you would, Michael. That way we can talk about everything as a whole for you. But it's 888-668-0698. And that way we're, we're really covering our ground and making sure that uh, we're more specific to you. And then we'll work on getting you a trainer. Orientation is a week long, it's Monday through Friday, and we take care of your hotel and your meals, we take care of your transportation to the terminal, 
Um, we do have a repayment agreement that you'll be signing in orientation. What that is, is just recognizing the investment that we've made in you. And uh, it'll show, you know, obviously everybody's is going to be a little bit different depending on what transportation we took to get you to orientation, uh, what the hotel was, where you were at. So all of that's going to be basically calculated on there. And you're not responsible for any of it unless you were to leave us within the first six months. And then we're going to, then we would ask you to, to cover a portion of it. Um, we take $100 off every month you know, that you're here. Wipe it clean. So no worries. Uh, at six months, we just wipe it off. We're like, yeah, you're good. But we have every intention to take great care of you. And, and in doing so, um, you know, a lot of it is our, like I mentioned earlier, our uh, surveys that we're doing. Those stay metric surveys that, we're, that we have going out there um, throughout the year. It's a way for us to improve to make sure that we're we're doing our part to to support you and to train you properly and to keep you trained and um, communicate everything that we need from you and vice versa. So you can do the same. You're welcome. Absolutely. So the <laughs> I love uh, Anna's comment here. It's fun filled, a fun filled orientation. It is. They will keep you entertained. <laughs> but yes, orientation will consist of. Um, basically a week long, you're going to go over a lot of the company policies and procedures, um, running either the refrigerated unit, you'll also be doing the tarping and securing, depending on the division that you're going into. Um, and that, but as a whole, you'll have your physical, you know, do a DOT physical, you'll have a PCE test, uh, which is like phys um, a physical capacity evaluation, but what I was trying to say, oh, like range of motion and resistance. I think I lost there. And then, so that's what that is. Uh, you'll also have the drug and alcohol test. We do both the urinalysis and the hair follicle. And um, <laughs> Jackie, you need a ref. <laughs> so we need all of, we, that's what orientation is all for. Refresher, there you go. There you go. <laughs> so that's what orientation basically consists of. Um, meeting your driver manager. If obviously, we want to get you into the terminal that your driver manager is. But sometimes if you're coming from an area that's uh, closer to one of our other terminals, you won't be meeting your driver manager face to face right off the bat. Um, but we do like to have you at least a phone call to talk to him and, and get a good feel for how you like to run. I know you've already talked to the driver or to the recruiter by this time about how you like to run, um, how you manage your time, what you're expecting from us, your expectations, as well as what we're expecting um, in, and need to fill that position um, or to provide you with that opportunity. So uh, basically, you know, making sure that the communication is open and that uh, we're gonna be a good fit for each other. So that part is gonna be during orientation. You also get a chance to get into your truck. Um, as a student, you'll be getting in with the trainer by that point. Um, otherwise, you'll be getting in your truck, getting that situated, and then dispatched off so we can get you moving. We pay $800 for orientation. $400 we're able to front. Now, the rest of the, the orientation pay the additional $400. That's going to be direct deposit, like you assume. Um, it's going to be a week. Uh, basically, it'll be a week from Friday. So everything has to be in by Saturday night in order to get paid on Friday for it. So everything, get it in, like I said, Transflow or um, the onboard scanner, get that in so that the payroll can take care of it for you. You get paid the second $400 on your first payment or first settlement. The first 400 is gonna be on a comp check, so it's gonna be handed to you, you're gonna have that right at hand. Plus you get a $100 Visa gift card. It's usually Wednesday-ish. Just usually we get those um, when when your physical, your, your drug tests, are all back and completed, then we get those as well. Yes, Jackie, or Jackie, you're right. Anna did say 900, but she's including the $100 Visa gift card. So I didn't include the $100 Visa gift card in the pay because that's that's separate. You, you get that and then you get the rest. I don't know. It's 900. You're right. It's all on how you say it. There you go. <laughs> He's on making sure that I'm going the straight and narrow. Good. Somebody's got to. <laughs> what else am I missing? Am I missing anything else on, on uh, the orientation process? And we do orient or we do orientation cars. <laughs> we do rental cars often. So we, it's not uncommon for us to get you a rental car to get to orientation. 
Um, I know that for a lot of you who are looking to come aboard to Decker, um, obviously this is not referring to our current drivers, but um, for those of you who are looking to come aboard to Decker uh, with the, the rental car, one of the, your big worries is that you're going to have to pay for gas on the way here, but we do take care of that. So we'll give you more details on that if, if it comes to it. But yeah, don't worry. You know, don't worry about the upfront expense. We're going to take care of you. Uh, we're going to make sure that you're well-trained, that you've got the support that you need and to get you headed in the right direction. So <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes, Michael, definitely do that. Um, check out the Facebook, all those. Check those out and talk to the individuals as well. Very well. <laughs> I'm more broke than the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Uh, that'll happen sometimes. All right. So what else do we have? Depending on where you live, um, we do have one. Oh, <laughs> we do have one position available. Um, I mentioned this yesterday on our Facebook Live, but I wasn't 100% sure that it was available. It is available. The 11 p.m. shift for our hopper position that runs from Fort Dodge. So you need to live within 50 miles of Fort Dodge because it's slip seating for this, this local position. So you live in Fort Dodge area and you're running back and forth between Fort Dodge and Blair, Nebraska. Um, you'll come back every once in a while, not always, not 100% of the time, but a lot of the time you'll be coming back with the uh, with a backhaul. Otherwise you're going there loaded, come back empty. We pay per shift. Well, this 11 p.m. shift, it pays 250 for the Monday through Friday days. And then on Saturday and Sunday, it'll pay 275 for the shift. But the way that it works is it's two days on and then two days off and then three days on and three days off. And then it'll go back to two on, two off, three on, three off. So that's a constant rotation. So every, basically every other weekend will be off. But, you know, the pay is going to stick to the days. So Jackie says, I love my job. It's so much fun. Especially when there's there's someone there to, to have fun with, right? Poking and proud, we got a YouTube video here for you. Facebook on Monday. You usually hop on on, on a YouTube though. Do you do you watch the Facebook too? A lot of it's repeat, but every once in a while you get a little bit of something. Okay, good, 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 good. So you get a lot of the repeat, <laughs> but we still appreciate them both. <laughs> All right. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, that was the hopper position. Yeah, I just have one of those. 11 p.m. Squirrel. <laughs> Um, yeah, we do have the guaranteed pay short haul position. That is a little bit different than our Midwest flatbed. The difference is the pay, one, the pay to the home time. So home time is often critical for, for those of you, especially for those of you who have families. Makes sense, you know, got to be there. And so with this Fort Dodge short haul, um, you don't just have to live in Fort Dodge, which is awesome. You can also live in the Sioux Falls area, um, Omaha, uh, Minneapolis. Those are areas that we also have this, this short haul position. So what it is, is uh, it's short haul flatbed. It pays $1,000 per week. So you're still getting $1,000 a week and you're getting home multiple times a week. So you're getting home on the weekend, but you can also get home, you know, three, four times during the week as well. So <laughs> squirrel. I know it happens. What do you do? <laughs> um, so yes, you'll also be getting home on the weekends and then multiple times during the week. Now Sioux Falls area, you'll probably get home three times a week. The other areas you'll probably be getting home a little bit more often, like the Lamars or Sioux City, um, Omaha, Fort Dodge, you'll probably be getting home more often during the week. So yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby on that one. So that's $1,000 a week for that short haul guaranteed pay. Guaranteed pay for the flatbed division. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. And then we talked a little bit about the Midwest refrigerated. I didn't really include all of the hiring area for that and, and what's all included. So really anywhere from um, on I-80 from Omaha to Omana, Omana, <laughs> Omaha, Nebraska to uh, Chicago, Illinois, then anything along there is going to get you or, or make you available for the Midwest refrigerated guaranteed pay. That's twelve fifty a week if that's something you're interested in. And then of course um, on I ninety 
uh, also available to Chicago, Illinois area if you're interested in that. So that one is, where is that? Um, I always forget. Ah, where is that, Anna? I, I keep forgetting. Drink more coffee? No. No coffee. It's water. Hot water. <laughs> That's what I drink. Or tea. Mm. Um, yeah. So the Midwest, Midwest Guaranteed Pay Refrigerated Division. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. Also, Fort Dodge and Kansas City. Kansas City is a very big area for us. So um, Fort Dodge and Kansas City area. So if you've got, if you live in one of those locations, great spot for our Midwest refrigerated guaranteed pay. Twelve fifty a week. Zach will keep you busy. He promised me. He told me. He's got. I got so much work. I need more people. Help me out. That's what he says. Seriously, it is. Our over the road refrigerated based out of Missoula, Montana. My neck of the woods is. Uh, about two to three weeks out. Depends on where you live, but it's two to three weeks out. Um, we do have a couple of positions available for weekly home time. So if you live in Missoula, if you live in Seattle, Washington, or Kennewick, Washington, or Los Angeles, California. So if one of those four locations, I can actually get you home weekly in our refrigerated division. Um, obviously, in for getting you home weekly, it's going to be a more confined area. So it's more of a, a regional type position. Um, for that refrigerated. But give us a holler. Not right now, but I'm in Montana, yes. Um, Missoula is having uh, dinner today too, or lunch today, if you guys didn't didn't already know that too. Okay, anyways, squirrel. Um, so for the Western, the Western regional positions that'll get you home weekly, I only have five, but you gotta call and um, we'll increase that as we see the success with it. So uh, make sure that if you're interested, you let us know. <laughs> it doesn't take much, Jackie, <laughs> to get me off track. <laughs> so 888-668-0698. That's the number to the recruiters, to us, and we'll help you out. And then with the, um, what else? What else am I missing? With the over-the-road refrigerated that's based out of Missoula, same number. Give us a holler, 888-668-0698. Uh, that's two to three weeks out. Great miles. Definitely a longer length of haul. This is going to be our longest length of haul for our, our divisions out there. We also have team opportunities. So if you're interested in running team, get a hold of us and Alan will put you to work. He's fantastic at keeping you moving. And um, that's out of the Missoula terminal. So if you don't live near Montana, not surprised, but if you don't live mon near Montana, um, doesn't mean that you wouldn't still be in the hiring area for our teams or our, our over-the-road Western refrigerated division. So if you're, uh, say, in the Dallas, Texas area, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, if you're in Chicago, Illinois, or, you know, just call about, let us know what it is that you're looking for. Call us. And we'll tell you what you've, we've got available in your area. But the best thing is just to find out what it is that you're looking for so that we can determine whether or not we have a good fit for you. And then our over-the-road flatbed, which is based out of Bessemer. That's our, we call it our southern flatbed, but it's coast to coast. So our coast to coast flatbed, uh, if you live in California, if you live in Oregon, or if you live in Washington, it's about, a, it's about a month out at a time. So about four weeks before we can get you home. Um, good miles, we're, get, we're keeping you moving. Um, however, if you live in Georgia or if you live in Atlanta, the home time, it, we can actually get you home on a weekly basis. Wait a minute. I said it, yeah, um, which is true, but um, Georgia or Alabama is what I meant to say. Goodness gracious. So if you live in Georgia or if you live in Alabama, then yes, we can get you home on a weekly basis. But uh, other areas here like Texas or, or Oklahoma or uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, the Carolinas, um, parts of the Midwest, we can get you home about every two weeks for that division. <laughs> oh, for that division. Um, now with our flatbed division, our over the road flatbed, the miles are really heavy in the Southeast and they're really heavy in the Midwest. So expect Chicago, uh, for those of you who are looking to stay out of snow, uh, if you're living in Texas, I can't keep you out of snow. Odds are I can't keep you out of snow. Now I don't have the control over the snow, but 
I'm betting that you'll be into the Midwest because Chicago is a very busy, busy area for us. Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, um, very busy area. Now, if you're in the coast to coast division for the over the road refrigerated, the Northwest is quite busy um, as well as the Midwest, obviously, but uh, you'll see a lot of that. So let us know if you have questions. If you have questions and you want to put it on the comment here, please do so. You know, I have not seen one shout out to any of the, any of the professional drivers out there on the road yet. So um, make sure that you throw a few shout outs here. Let's, uh, let's see who we're recognizing today for our driver appreciation week. I see too much. You see too much Illinois? Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's illegal for me to say that, but I think uh, a lot of people feel that way. <laughs> Just kidding. Just Josh and you. Um, lease purchase. We do have lease purchase available, but you need to run with the company or as a company driver for 90 days first. So if you're interested in lease purchase, let me know. We'll give you some details on that. Um, 90 days as a company driver. They are newer model trucks. Obviously, you can get them brand new. How the, the age of the truck is going to determine the length of the lease. So if you're getting a brand new truck, it's going to be a four year lease. If it's a truck that's a year old, it's going to be three year lease and figure, you can figure out the rest of that. <laughs> Even though you live there, I know, you know, that's exactly right. I think those are, that's who I hear it from most. I live there. Get me out of here. I don't want to be here. Why do you, why do you live there? It's just silly. Family, that's why. That's important. What am I missing? Anybody have any questions out there? Well, if you haven't already, don't forget to check out our Facebook channel um, because that's when we're unrolling, unveiling our videos, our, comp our competition videos that are so fun. I don't know if they're competition videos, but somebody threw out on Monday, um, I, challenge, I challenge Fort Dodge to it or I challenge Missoula. Um, so challenge accepted. That's one did a great job, though. They cracked me up. They've got way more moves than our Missoula Terminal. I hate to say that. More like they were doing the dancing. If you watch the Missoula one, we didn't do too much dancing because you can't. <laughs> you can prove me wrong. The rest of the Missoula Terminal can prove me wrong. <laughs> I know, me too. Jackie says he about died laughing with the Bessemer one. Did you watch the Missoula one yet? You should do that. That one cracked me up, but I was taking the pictures and doing it, doing it. So <laughs> I had a hard time not laughing for that. Boogie. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, thanks. Anna's getting me on track. Do not forget to stop by one of the terminals and pick up your driver appreciation gifts. Those, those are the bags and the, the mugs and stuff, you guys. Take, you know, go get your hands on that. They are for you. For all the work that you have done. Okay, yeah, you gotta check that out. And I hope you think it's as funny as I do, because I do. My cheeks hurt from, from laughing. <laughs> you will, yes, you will automatically be entered to win on the door prizes. Where's my door prizes list winners? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sound effects. Um, okay, so yeah, don't forget. Don't forget your door prizes. You'll automatically be enter, entered to win, so no worries there. Um, but the door prizes from MHC, the three zipper jackets, that was Lydia, Scott, and Kevin. So if you missed that, we'll be posting that on our Facebook too. But uh, Lydia Dietrich, Scott Knapp, and Kevin Hagen. And the Yeti mugs, Dean Sosick and Marvin Duncan. And then the Yeti Roadie Yeti roadie cooler. That's kind of hard to say. Spell check is my friend. Yeah, mine too. Uh, Grammarly. Okay. So the Yeti roadie cooler, here we go. That goes to Anthony Vasquez. So you can pick that up if, as long as they haven't absconded with it first. <laughs> they were liking that when they were doing the drawings. They were pretty impressed. So congratulations to all of you. Those were the MHC winners um, for the MHC drawings. But we also had Epic U. They gave, they sent over three 2,500, 2,500, oh goodness gracious, awesome, three $25 Amazon gift cards. There we go. That's what I want to say. Epic View, $25 Amazon gift cards, Thomas Melton, Brian Robin, and 
Albert Smith Jr. You guys receive those. And then we have a big $100 pilot gift card goes to Justin Danner. So congratulations, you guys. I don't know. Uh, I don't need to be. That's the thing. You got to make sure. I need all the help I can get. Why, why put myself in that position, right, Jackie? <laughs> What's the weather like in Oklahoma right now? So one of the recruiters sent over a picture this morning um, living in, in the Iowa area. All of, well, not all of, the majority of the telephone poles by him were all laying down. They were rough. I don't know what the weather is like over there. We've got a lot of rain. We've had a lot of rain all summer long. Summer. I'm not calling it summer if it's not warm out. Hot. It's hot. Fair to partly cloudy where I'm at. Kansas City area. There you go. Hmm. Well, don't forget to hop in. You have, let's see, you have six minutes. Six minutes if you're in the uh, Iowa, at, in any of the... Um, locations in Iowa. So if you're, well, if you're in Davenport, Hammond, Minneapolis, um, Fort Dodge, you have six minutes, five minutes now, six minutes still <laughs> to, to go get yourself something to eat. I think it's brisket at, uh, um, at Fort Dodge. I'm not sure what everybody else is serving right now. Not sure, but we'll be taking a look at some of the pictures of the food on, on Facebook. I'm not sure that's nice to send the pictures of the food. This is what we got. Did you make it? Don't forget to pick up your driver appreciation gifts. And then tomorrow, tomorrow, um, Jessica will go live again and tell you what the goodies are. Those Tomorrow's lunch is going to be sp sponsored by JX Enterprises. Today was Crossroads Trailer Sales and Service. So thank you guys for, for sponsoring our meals and, and, of course, our our drawings, so our door prizes, we love those. Yes, have some, <laughs> Anna says, have some yummy food in my honor. I'm all over it. <laughs> no problem, I gotcha. Um, and then, so tomorrow is Davenport, Hammond, and Minneapolis. So tomorrow's Wednesday, 9-11. And then Hammond and Missoula for Thursday. And Fort Dodge, Fort Dodge is all of them. Friday, Bessemer, and Davenport. So, cool. Well, make sure that you are hitting the bell when you subscribe on our YouTube channel so that you get the notification when we go live. Jackie, I'm assuming you've got that. And uh, everybody else, go ahead and take care of that. And then for our Facebook channel, follow us. And when we go live, you'll get a little note. And make sure that you're watching these on your downtime. You know, I am definitely trying to make sure that we have as much information available to you as possible. Um, but if you are doing it while you're driving, if you're if you're watching the videos or um, accessing this content while you're driving, it's really taken away from the whole idea, which is to promote safety and promote, uh, you know, to educate you and, and everything to, to make you better. So come on, do it right. Yes, ma'am. That's right, Jackie. <laughs> ah, awesome, awesome. Okay. So don't forget that the driver surveys are going out for um, – for what is it? Um, Stamatrics. Can't spit out the word. But we'll have drawings next Monday. Well, actually, the drawings are on Friday, but we'll announce it next Monday and Tuesday. And uh, we'll be continuing to announce it through the 31st of October, which I think the last announcement is actually on the 4th of, of November. So, but yeah, lots of prizes. And those were today's. Today's yesterday's that we announced, those were $50 gift cards. Uh, we have the Visa gift card. We have the Decker Company Store and then the Walmart gift card. Oh, okay. Then then I will allow it. The trainee is driving. I get you. All right. Well, Jackie wants to stay busy. So if you are new to the industry and have recently graduated from a PTDI certified school, um, then, and you, well, Give us a call and we'll find out whether or not you are in the hiring area for our refrigerated or van options. Now, flatbed, if you're in the southeast, we're going to require a full six months of over the road experience uh, tractor trailer before we can do that flatbed. Um, we do offer a little bit less uh, experience or require a little bit less experience if you live in the Midwest because we have a little we're more equipped for the training, I guess I should say. 
in the Fort Dodge terminal. We've got a little more hands on deck to, to take care of you. Um, so three months of over the road tractor trailer experience if you're looking for a flatbed and you live within the Midwest. But either way, let's uh, see what we can do about uh, keeping Jackie busy and, and uh, keeping the wheels turning. You guys are doing a fantastic job. This week is all about you, a driver appreciation week. Please go on to our Facebook page and share a few pictures. Message me on Facebook, uh, facebook.com backslash DTL Inc. Message us and we will go ahead and post your pictures and who your shout out is to, um, who you'd like to honor. Um, during the week. And, you know, just because it's Driver Appreciation Week, we want to see even more of them. But, uh, you know, next week, the week after, we still want to see it. We still love to see the pictures. And we still would like to recognize all of the work that you guys do. Because it's a lot. Get everything we need. <laughs> all right, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, rest of your Driver Appreciation Week. And please don't forget to get into the terminal or try to get into the terminal and grab your goodies. Um, yeah, I know not everybody can get in. It's hard, you know, you're all going to the same location. You know, we have a few locations, but you're all trying to get in to one of the, a few locations and, and trying to get your goodie bag. But they will be available um, to pick up. If you can't make it in this week, then, you know, if it's next week or the week after that you make it into one of the terminals, do not forget to pick up your driver appreciation gifts. They're for you. Okay. Awesome. Now I for, for real will leave you. You guys have a great day. Yes, Jackie, you too. Thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate everything. Have a good one.